There, bam. Yes. But look. She just like fucking turns around as like a... <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't look that badass. It's impossible. But I love it. Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel Brit K Pop Reacts and today is another Lunaverse episode, Lunaverse A Journey, episode 30. 30 episodes, 3 months and we are finally here. This is the final MV of the series, of this MV series that we've been doing. <laughs> I'm so fucking excited. It's awesome that we've got through all this, these MVs. I'm so pleased. It's been amazing. I've enjoyed every step of this journey. Um, and now I'm ready to dive into the last one once again. This episode is called So What Remastered uh, because of course I have reacted to this song before on this channel. I've reacted to this MV before on this channel. So what it was th about three and a half months ago before I started this journey I reacted to it not really knowing who Luna were. Um, after that reaction I ended up doing the Avengers video of course um, through the recommendations uh, that you guys gave and then through that I ended up starting this whole series where we've watched every MV in order and we're now at episode 30. We're now doing so what well once again. It's going to be so fun to watch this again with the new knowledge I have. I'm really excited to do this. If you're new here, hello. Um, there are a boatload of other episodes, I've, as I've just mentioned. So please check those out. Um, this is the last MV of the series. Um, so I do have, obviously, 29 other episodes to check out. That would be awesome. And, of course, before we begin, if you enjoy this reaction, please drop us a like, drop us a comment, and, of course, subscribe to my lovely self. Join the Brit K-Pop Reacts family. That would be awesome. Now, we are going to do some teasers first. There are, I think, four teasers I need to do. Um, I know there's, there's, hash, so there's hashtag one, two, three, and then... Two all lunars around the world, I think it's called. I'm doing those four. I know there's a, a teaser called hashtag. I watched that before. The reason being, I wasn't sure. I did get some comments saying that it's not necessarily relevant to watch that before this MV. I think because it came out a bit before all the rest of the teasers, like a good few months before, like half a year before or something. Um, so I've watched that separately beforehand. So I have watched that. But we are just going to start with hashtag one and go through because I don't want this to be too long. I'm <laughs> so I'm aware of that. So we're just going to jump straight into uh, hashtag one. Uh, this teaser was released one day before my birthday last year, 14th of December, um, which is cute. Let's do it. Hashtag one. First teaser of so what. So this is ha this is Iceland again, right? <coughs> They look like Heijin's eyes, I think, possibly. <laughs> the fact that I can recognise some of these members by their eyes is a bit freaky at this point. <laughs> I did not expect that. Holy shit. Right, end, like, hey, okay, no, wait, 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 wait. This is, this looks like, because Heijin obviously flew at the end of High High. This has got to be that, right? This is like Heijin flying. I don't know if this is directly after High High, I'm not sure, but that's got to be what this is. Oh, she looks stunning. Look at that, the seriousness on her face. She looks like fucking Supergirl. Oh no, hey, oh. she's walking. Supergirl can't do that. What's that? She, she's like walking on something there. That was. Let me just process that. So it looked like she was in Iceland. She was in the air, floating. But then it looked like she actually stepped on something, like there's something invisible in the air that she stepped on. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> but we will continue. Hashtag two. Come on. Stop putting adverts. You're ruining the experience. That's an eclipse. I mean, I don't know what that means. Am I supposed to get anything out of that? It's a moon, it's an eclipse. I mean, they're, 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 they're very lunar imagery, but... Um, this is hashtag three, right? No, this is two all lunars around the world. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. We don't want this yet. I want to watch hashtag three first. I think for some reason the playlist I had up didn't have hashtag three in it. I'm not sure why. So this is hashtag three, the teaser. Let's do it. Oh, 
show you Melina. Yeah, okay, this is looking very so what the aesthetic. Say so dark of the moon, back of the moon, something like that. Is that I wanna say Olivia from the back, maybe? <laughs> That's a complete yes, it's not really based on much. I want to say Hedron and somebody else, I'm not sure. These are complete guesses. <laughs> That's Jensen. That Hedron. I'm not sure who that was. Oh! Oh, that's a proper hype, little, little hype teaser for me, Emily, isn't it? Oh, I'm so excited. I just want to check what that said then. Oh, no, it was, it was back of the moon, so it's, it's the back of the moon. Okay, cool. Because this, the, I think this MV, doesn't it, it like showcases their dark side or something. It's like the dark side of Luna or something like that, um, I think is the idea of it, possibly. So this is now to all Lunas around the world. Um, which I guess I assume is going to be similar to the four all lunars around the world, which was like a sort of preview of all the um, all the people that were involved in the butterfly MV. So I, I'm assuming this is going to be sort of a similar similar type thing. Let's have a look. The moon does oh, not God, shine by itself. Ooh. The moon reflects the light of the sun. Why? Very true. The moon orbits around the earth. Always showing the same side. But what about the other side? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, the back of the moon, baby. I'm sure we're going to find out. <laughs> oh, baby. I'm so excited. I can't. Oh, this is awesome. It's awesome watching these teasers before these um, these MVs. Just getting, getting yourself so hyped. I'm ready for this. I've already fucking seen this MV. <laughs> I'm just so excited to see it again. Oh, mate, let's do it. Okay, so I'm I'm just gonna read it. I completely forgot the description of the butterfly video. I did read it obviously afterwards. Um, I'm not gonna forget it this time, so I'm gonna just check out a bit of this description. Um, so fate collides fate in Luna to make coincidence. Twelfth member Olivia Hay and the first member Hugin meets in fate and made Luna as a whole world. Um, hashtag does not not mean much when it's used alone, but it means that when hashtag is used in combination with words or letters, they realise the result of a multi-use combination when they are together just as they perform a special function or great ability. Through this album, Luna want people to break out of the box, boundaries and prejudices, showing them not to be afraid to challenge yourself. On the back of the moon, which no one knows about, instead of a moon that does not shine on its own and always shows the same side, Luna serves as a fuse in the heart of the whole Lunas around the world. Through this album, Luna is about to show the whole different, confident, challenging Luna, not the same Luna people all know. And this is the thing, like, going into this now, understanding that, it's such a different experience um, because it is so different from them and it's, it's such a different side of them. And obviously in terms of lore and stuff, it's really interesting, which obviously last time I had no idea about going in. Um, so this is really cool. Now we're going to go into the MV. I am aware there's that whole first bit. So last 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 time I reacted to this, there was that whole first section, right, which is obviously very lore significant and has a lot of stuff going on in it that probably will make more sense to me now. At the time, back in the, back when I reacted to it the first time, that confused the fuck out of me. I was like, what is this? Well, I don't understand it. So it's going to be cool watching this bit now, you know, with some understanding of what's actually going on. So this is so on. This is very dark, this bit. I think, I think it's, still, it's still Iceland, I think, aren't they? Do not accept the fate of the moon. I'm not sure who that is. Get off the track. It's hard to tell in the lighter. Or are these just the random people? Yeah. Reveal to the world the hidden side. Yes, reveal it now. I remember her. Is that Olivia? 
It's really dark on the screen. I really can't tell. I think it might be another one. Makes sense that she'd be the one. Yourself. To kind of reveal it. Well. Burn yourself. Yeah, that that line. <laughs> I couldn't deal with that the first time I watched it. Burn yourself. I love it. <laughs> I'm so ready. I have got this up on. Egypt? I can't, I can't deal with it already, man. I can't. I can't fucking cope. I can't. Just just the attitude. Just I can't deal. Like they say, this is something we just have not seen from these girls before. Like, especially some of them. I've not seen the badass side of Heejin yet. And th just that then, that attitude then, was just something else. And then Hassel comes in. So showing that same, like, so fire. I just love it. Look at that, mate. <laughs> I can't do that. I can't wait for you. Heejin. You lot are going to hate me again. I'm going to be pausing like a motherfucker in this one. I apologise in advance. <sighs> Aging just then. She was my thumbnail in the last one. In the last reaction. And I had no idea, obviously, who it was at the time. I just, I, the attitude of it is just insane. Especially, like, because it's come in with the Luna One Third girls as well. Who, like, we're so used to seeing kind of portray this more kind of cutesy sweet side of, of the whole Luna thing. It's the, like to see them come in with this like bam bam attitude. It's just I love it. I fucking love it because we've not seen this from the, from these girls, especially. Look at it, so badass. <laughs> oh, I was that in the car. I can't tell. The cherry my <laughs> I can't fucking cope with this. Something just fell over in the in the cabinet. The look Heejin gives just then. I will say it now, and like I say, I've, I've, I'm not dis in any way close to deciding bias. I will say Heejin is a heavy contender, as you probably all know. This that here, look, look at this. <laughs> Oh, I, just, I can't deal with it. Just the the attitude of it, and it's the fact that we haven't seen it before, and I can't handle it because she, I'm like I'm used to seeing Heejin do the whole like cute smiles and all that, and the gorgeous fucking smiles and shit. I'm used to that, and like the, the killer looks and things. But that I've not I've not seen that before. <laughs> just her doing like the badass like fucking like fierce just. That kind of look, I've not seen it, and it's just it, it blows my mind. Oh, mate, tribute like Kim Lip with the fucking attitude. Oh. I love the aesthetic of this video as well. Fucking urban, you know. who's this? No, that... Wait. Oh, that's Jin Sol. Who's that there doing that rap then? Or is that someone in the MV that's miming it? I don't know who's actually singing it. Is that one of them? I can't tell. Tell me, let me know. I can't tell. If that... That's Jin Sol. ACDC top. The rocket ship. <laughs> Oh, it's... that was Eve, that was Olivia. <laughs> I'll get it. Kim Lit with the red, I can't. No, oh, mate.
all the S in the world. Oh my God, I just, I can't, I can't fucking cope. Luna going with the attitude is just, it's, it's a lot, it's another level of destruction for me. I can't deal with it. Look at that shot. I remember, I paused it on this shot of very, something very similar on the last reaction. And I thought at the time, because of this shot, that there were six members of Luna. <laughs> at that point, I had no idea there were 12. I thought there were six because of this shot. And then I only later found out there were 12. And now I can look at that image and I can go, yes, I can name every single one of you. How fucking awesome. <laughs> it's, it's just, it blows my mind. I love Jin Sol with the dark hair. That's awesome look. I mean, they're all rocking the dark hair, aren't they? I can't tell. Hyunjin's got some, like, colour to her hair. I can't tell what it, it looks like. A bit reddish, doesn't it? Um, that's gorgeous. I'm just like... I can, is that Hyunjin, like, second from the... I'm trying to think from the left, if you're looking at it. Like, is that Hyunjin? I think. Second from the left. I'm pretty sure it is. The hair's covering her face a little bit, but I'm pretty sure it is. Fuck yeah, Olivia looks fierce. Look at the look Cherry's got on her face. Eve, look at the, like, the, the angle. Like, ah. Oh. Fucking yes. Uh, all the yes. Oh. Oh, so th this is gorgeous as well. Like, this bit where you've got, like, chew and go on in the, the dresses. And they just look so cute and adorable. <laughs> like, in the, in the most badass way possible. Like, it's just... I can't cope with this. I really fucking can't cope with this. <laughs> like genuinely. <laughs> I'm struggling. I'm really fucking struggling. Play. Oh god. Oh, that didn't look them for me. <laughs> oh yes, I forgot about this bit. vocals does butterfly oh man no 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 we're, we're, oh i can't deal with the visuals in this look at this go on surrounded by butterflies i can't I, oh, no fucking hell you can't i, I can't fucking cope i know i've said it about a million times this bloody reaction i can't genuinely can't go oh it's just gorgeous isn't it this whole bit's gorgeous oh, it's so epic as well it feels so epic oh. that vocal who does that vocal there yeah oh it's all going to shit what <laughs> Right, what, what's happening law-wise in this? Because I've been trying to sort of vaguely follow it and I, I can't really, to be honest. I don't know. There's something, is something wrong with the moon because it's showing the other side of the moon. Obviously, we're seeing all this dark, this sort of, you know, darkest side to a degree of, of Luna. Um, I don't know why the sky's on fire. I don't know what's going on there. Looks like the fucking apocalypse. I'm not entirely sure, um, you know. It's all about burning and the stuff. I don't really know. I, I'd like an explanation, please. <laughs> Give drop me some lore in the comments, because um, I'm struggling here. I mean, to be fair, my my mind is just I can't I can't process anything right now, so <laughs> I'm not going to be able to figure this out. Oh, look! It's oh my god! It's happening. Fire. Is that another one of the other worlds? I don't. So well. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, Olivia, that look then. I've just rewinded it so much. But I can't help it. Here, where is it? Where is it? There, bam, yes, but look, she just like fucking turns around just like her. <laughs> I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't look that badass, it's impossible, but I love it.
I freak. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm not stopping it. I know there's more. Olivia, Olivia. What, what are you going to do? She's burning the feather. That's significant. Oh, wait, no. Hang on. That's fine. <laughs> what? what? I don't know. I, can't, I don't understand. She stopped burning the feather anyway. Cleansing fire? I don't know. Fuck me. I can't. Can't process it. The problem is, right? It's like I know I've seen this before. I've seen it more than once, to be quite honest. Like, I've done the reaction, but I've watched it since, like fairly soon after. So before I did the whole journey, but it's like it was like I watched it for the first time just then. Genuinely, like it's like it's almost like the first reaction never happened. Like yes, I recognise bits and I recognise images and stuff, but it's because of the knowledge I now have and because I understand I know who these girls are I know some of the law I, I understand the epic nature of what's going on it's like watching it for the first time <laughs> it's just such a bizarre experience because everything I saw like the reaction to it in my body was in my mind was not the same in any way as it was when I did it before so it was like it was just like a completely new experience, and I, just, I absolutely loved every second of that. It it was so fucking epic. The MV was absolutely stunning. The, the just the girls were just absolutely incredible. The the looks they were given, the attitude of it. It just it absolutely blew me away. It blew me away. And as you have already guessed at this point, I was not ready for that. It's that, that was absolutely stunning. I can't, I'm so glad they got their first win with that because that is deserved. That is more obviously deserved. I mean, it was deserved before that, but that was just out of this world incredible. And I, the song, the MV, everything about it was absolutely incredible. And anyone that can question the legitimacy of this group and the awesomeness of this group they're, they're not, they're no friend to me, put it that way. They're no friend to me at this point. Because I'm not having anyone underappreciate this group right now. Because I don't understand. Like, just, just look at what they're doing. What Go through this journey. And even try not to be fully invested. It, just try not to be fully invested if you go through this journey. It's, it's not possible. It's not possible. I would advise every, every K-pop fan right now to go back... And go through all the MVs of Luna and everything I went through in this journey and come back to me and you even try and tell me that you're not fully invested in this group. <laughs> I don't believe it's possible. I really don't. I just, they are absolutely and utterly incredible and I have nothing but good words to say about them. This journey has been incredible. I'm so fucking glad I went on it. I'm so glad I watched all this. I'm so glad I found out about all this. You guys have been amazing because you guys are giving me so much info, so much awesome stuff to digest and to just explaining to me what's going on, explaining to me what I need to watch, what I need to, to find to get into this group. You guys have made a new orbit and I'm, <laughs> I'm so fucking glad that, that you were as invested as you were because... If I decided not to do this, if I decided to walk away, I, d I, don't, I don't want to live in that world, quite frankly, in that alternate reality <laughs> that may have happened. Because now I've been through this, I'm just... I'm, I'm in awe of these girls. I'm in awe of this group. And, and I seriously hope they go from strength to strength. And I know there was, there's, there's been difficulty. I know that I think the fans saved them, didn't they, in terms of, like, I think there was talk about them disbanding and stuff. I know I'm aware I need to watch that in constant is it in constant moon that video I'm going to watch that because I know there's a lot in there about all that stuff and the kind of the trials that Luna have gone through to get to this point and get to the first win and and all that and I do want to watch that because like I said I think that really hit home to me just how far this group have come and I just I hope it continues I hope that that it grows and grows because these girls deserve so much recognition. Like I say, and I said this very early on, I said this very early on in my first few reactions, 
I don't think a lot of people know. And I think this is one of the big problems is that like, like for me personally, I knew of Luna, I knew about them. I knew about the sort of main songs they brought out. Obviously I knew Butterfly, I love Butterfly, but I didn't know just how much there is with this group and, and this entire journey that you can go on with this group in terms of the lore, in terms of how much there is out there with all the solos, the subunits, or everything that's going on with this group. I wasn't aware of it. I'm, I'm sure I can't be the only one. There must be so many K-pop fans out there that just are not aware of how far this sort of rabbit hole goes when it comes to Luna. But once you found, find out and once you start delving into it all, it's, it's impossible to let go. It's impossible to turn away. At that point, you become hooked and that's that. <laughs> and you become an orbit and that's that. And that's what people need to be doing. <laughs> that's what we need to get people doing. We need to get people get going on this journey, discovering this group and learning to appreciate them because if they go on this journey, they absolutely will appreciate them. I'm gonna shut the fuck up now because we're gonna go on for ages otherwise. <laughs> I don't want this video to go on too long, but I needed to, I needed to say my bit because I'm just absolutely stunned by this group. I'm stunned by this group, I really am. And absolutely in love with them. And with that being said, guys, I think we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching this whole journey, this whole 30 episode journey. Thank you so much, 31 technically. Thank you so much for all of it. You guys have been, as I say, been absolutely amazing. I love you all. Um, and it will continue, as I say. I'm, I don't know whether I'm closing off this playlist and starting new ones for each different area of Luna I go into. I'm not sure yet. I might just continue it. I don't know yet. Um, but this is, of course, not the end. We will be doing live performances. We will be doing Luna TV, Luna Town, all that jazz on their channel. Uh, we'll be doing dance practices, things like that. We'll do, be doing law videos. There's loads. There's absolutely loads. I will continue to try and do two a week, every week. Um, obviously, now that I'm not doing the MVs, I might occasionally, from week to week, change it. So it might be like I'll do one maybe the odd week, just in case my schedule gets too crammed and I just think, right, well, I'll take this out and I'll take that out. Um, so it may be that I only do one some weeks. Now I've got that freedom. Um, but to be honest, most of the time I'll probably do two because I absolutely love this group. <laughs> I, want it, I want to get into more of this and I want to decide a fucking bias. So I'll probably do two a week for the near future. Please, as always, if you enjoy this uh, reaction and this series, um, drop us a like, drop us a comment, and of course subscribe to my lovely self. Join the Brit K-pop Reacts family. That will be awesome. And I'll see you next time, guys. Sanange, I love you all. Goodbye. And as always, and forever, Stan Luna.